As I mentioned before, I love working with einkorn, but my favorite kind of einkorn is fresh milled. We didn't use fresh milled einkorn in the formulas today because it would require you to have a tool like this mock mill here to mill the flour. But if you're ready to take the next step and start milling your own flour, I want to equip you with some information about how to go about it. So this is the mock mill 100. Uh, this is what I like using for my Levans, the flour that I mill for my Levans. A few things about it, there's a couple of stones inside. One is uh, what's called a bed stone and one is a runner stone. It grinds uh, the grain in between the two stones and then forces it out the hole here. So the lever on the side here is which you can adjust the coarseness and the fineness of your granulation for the uh, bread. You could also crack your grains in here by moving it further out. Um, typically when I'm making levans, I don't like to close it down super tight. I like to have a little bit of gap there, like one or two on the, on the dial here. Because I like the absorption rate a little bit better with that. So let's mill some grains. Let's turn on the mill and see where the stones are at. So I can hear that there's no, uh, the stones are not touching right now. But if I move this more fine, you can hear the stones hitting. Then I'm gonna back it off just a fraction. You can tighten that lever up. Then I'm gonna drop the grain in. Voila, freshly milled einkorn. So as I was milling it, I was checking the uh, texture of it and seeing the fineness of the, uh, uh, of the endosperm and the bran. All right, now that we have our fresh milled flour, let's talk about some of the differences between using fresh milled einkorn, einkorn from the mill, and compare those to whole wheat, which you're probably most familiar with. Uh, the fresh milled flour is very nice. It's not super fine, but it's a, a good texture for, for making bread for sure. Um, the commercially milled flour is a little bit finer. So the endosperm and the germ are very m much milled together. So it's a, uh, and the oil, natural oils create this. You can clumps up together. And then we have the whole wheat flour here. This is the whole wheat fine flour. And again, it doesn't have as much oil as like the einkorn, so it doesn't necessarily clump together. During the fermentation process, one key difference with the freshly milled versus the commercially milled flour is the enzymatic activity. So the higher enzymatic activity is just gonna speed up the fermentation. So you might have to pay a little bit closer attention to your dough when you're uh, letting it ferment. So with the freshly milled, uh, one key difference would be uh, absorption rate. It could be uh, higher or lower, depending on how finely you milled your flour. Uh, for example, this is not super fine. It's got a nice texture, but uh, not nearly as fine, it seems like, as this uh, fresh uh, milled flour from the uh, commercial mill. Uh, versus the whole wheat. In general, these flours, these whole grain flours will absorb uh, much more moisture than a uh, commercial milled like white flour. When you're shaping your dough, a couple of the key differences are uh, the fact that it's much more uh, uh, tender uh, type of dough with the einkorn versus the whole wheat where you have much more strength and a stronger gluten structure to hold that, that mass together. Um, the einkorn is much more delicate um, it kind of looks like it may be shredding a bit, but it's actually going to uh, form a nice structure, but it's not nearly the strength that you would get out of a wheat flour. And as you're shaping it um, or pre-shaping it, you'll see how much more slack the einkorn flour is as, again, it doesn't have that same gluten structure uh, that the whole wheat flour will have. I hope this video has equipped you with a bit more information if you're hoping to start fresh milling your own flour.